Hi, my name is Brianna, and welcome to my reaction commentary channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Season 2, Episode 3 of Bridgerton on Netflix. Now, I'm super excited for this episode, but before we get into it, if you could do me a quick favor, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for post notifications, follow me on all my social media. That way, we can skip the chit-chat and get straight to the good part. It's impossible. <laughs> no, no. There'll be plenty of other opportunities. I've failed each and every time. It's more about confidence than anything else. You decided that stag was too large to shoot before you even touched the trigger, I'm afraid. But you'll learn. You'll learn in time. This vest, Papa Bridgerton. Okay, I see Benedict gets his fashion sense from you. Quite lovely, are they not? Oh, this bloody... Oh, no. is this how he dies? <laughs> Father. Father? My God, okay. <laughs> Someone, please! Help! Oh my... Okay, bring on oh, all of the trauma. Oh, what happened? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Poor baby Anthony! Oh. Poor everybody in this family right now, actually. Like, okay, I I was happy, excited about this episode. Now I'm sad. <laughs> like, in the front yard with everybody home. <laughs> Anthony! Go! Okay, well, that was the first three minutes of the episode. Lord Anthony Bridgerton appears to be inching ever so closer to selecting his Viscountess, and to that end has invited our diamond to join him for an excursion at his ancestral home, Aubrey Hall. You need not worry about the Viscount's <sighs> favor, Miss Edwina. I don't know which one I love more. Like, Lady Danbury's red or Kate's blues. Like, what is happening? I love this. For goodness sake, Penelope, stop your pacing before you give me an indigestion. Apologies, Mama. They don't let Penelope write, read, sit by a window, pace up and down. What we need to find is someone malleable someone stupid enough not to know any better and certainly not to know how to take on and manage a household i want to move into philippa's room why she always got the bigger one has never been fair what girl they are plotting and planning lord featherington would make for whom you but he's our cousin oh penelope but he is our cousin and since when has that ever created an issue? Girl, since Lord the beginning Lord of time. Mm -hmm. Prudence and Penelope are like, mm -mm, girl, this is not a good idea. <laughs> this is not the plan. Come and see the baby Eloise. Why has it changed since I saw him last? He's grown at least an inch, haven't you? Oh, no, no. Girl. Eloise, it's alright. Just don't drop the baby and you're doing great. He's too busy reading to notice anything else, as usual. Oh. Is it not nap time? Perhaps Uncle Colin will lull you to sleep with his many, many tales from his travels. Ooh, the episode just started, Eloise. Baby, you're flaming people. Well, I cannot wait to meet the woman who has captured your heart. Tell me, what does she like? Miss Edwina is the picture of grace, beauty and charm. Unfortunately, she has a most annoying sister who has styled herself as something of a gatekeeper. Now, the only oh, Lady Danbury, just journey. It's so wonderful. My great godson. Kate said, mm, I'm checking out the man, I'm checking out the house. I'm just saying, it's spacious. You're smiling. Yeah, I'm not smiling at you, Anthony. I'm smiling at the digs. Is already working. I was smiling at the view, which you are now blocking. Mark my words, Miss Sharma. By the end of your stay, your opinion of me will be much improved. And you must be Miss Edwina. No. Ooh. Oh! This is my sister. <laughs> Miss C uh, Forgive me, Miss Sharma. I am entirely flattered, Your Grace. Allow me to introduce my sister, Miss Edwina. 
Daphne's like, but I was peeping the chemistry. Please show our guests to their rooms so they might get refreshed. And ready for battle. Mm. Indeed. <laughs> what can you mean? <laughs> Do not mind, Eloise. <laughs> we so spirited in the country. Then we have that in common. You should take the opportunity to get to know one another. Absolutely. <laughs> Miss Edwina will make the perfect Viscountess, to be sure. Anthony said she checked off all the boxes, so I'm done. I don't need to know her. <laughs> my lord. My lord, might we begin with the arrangements? The minister will need to be called and the casket, of course. On oh my god, okay, poor Anthony. She sent for the doctor. She's still hysterical. I'll your mother's things arranged immediately, but I will need to know which room you would like her move to. Why would mother be met? Because those rooms belong to you, my lord. Okay, that can wait. Viscount now. Uh, understandable, sir. But moving rooms can wait, okay? There are other pressing matters. Why waste a turn if the point is to get one's own ball through the wicket? To infuriate your opponent, I gather. Precisely. It is a poor player who plays the game and a wise one who plays their opponent. I believe I should rather enjoy this game. <laughs> and, well, then there is Anthony. Uh, let me guess, the most ruthless cutthroat player. <laughs> Why you have made his acquaintance. <laughs> you know what? Sure I feel so bad for Edwina because she's you literally done nothing Kate. wrong and does not deserve to be strung along by Anthony or Kate. No, it should be lower in the bus. We must make the most of the young lady's figure. Lower. Madam, I must protest. I don't pay the you to protest. Dresses. I pay you to fashion the dresses as I see fit. I hear there's a new modiste across the street just arrived from Vienna. Perhaps she will have something that will display your assets to the better advantage. Prudence, let's get your dress. <clears throat> I mean, if you want all her cookies to be shown, dang. Whatever happened to modesty? I understand you're trying to hook her up with her cousin, which is still a problem that we're not addressing. Are you often in that part of town? Seems it is rather far from the fashionable side, is it not? Perhaps I might just do the same thing. We but I will not, because I happen to believe a lady's business is her own. Would you not agree? I... Yes. I'm on Delacroix's side. It is meant to be a game, is it not? Yes, but please, please now. now. The only fair thing to do is to let our invited guests choose their mallets and strike first. An excellent choice. <laughs> the mallet of death. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> is this yours? Oh, no. You're welcome to. You near threatened to beat me the last time I touched that. You exaggerate. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Anthony is like, his, like simmering there, anger all the time. With a blanket. <laughs> is intriguing. I can play perfectly well with any mallet. I wish you the best of luck. Are we to stand around deliberating all day or shall we play? <laughs> <laughs> to field of combat. 